Hi friends, uh, this is Indranil again and today I'm here to show you how you can create stacks uh, using data structures, I mean um, sorry, using linked list and this is a continuation of my previous video where I discussed regarding the pointers and how you can create linked lists. So let's begin. Again, today I will be creating a new project uh, for C++ like we did before and let's name it linked list underscore tutorial uh, again keep this checkbox unchecked and we'll choose empty project here so like we know a stack is a is a, is a pile of nodes where the first node uh, becomes uh, the the bottom one and the last node is on the top so it's a first in last out sequence right so we'll create a new item again a cpp file you can name it anything you want and it let's add it so again I'm keeping everything pretty simple add the basic header files like iostream and conio.h the reason for adding conio.h is to uh, get the underscore get ch function otherwise the output will be not shown to us All right? and we'll add the standard namespace again we'll start with the structure and it's my favorite book one so let's create an element inside it let's name it in page number like before right so it will be a stack of books so this should be a pointer next node okay so this time I'll create a couple of pointers to hold my top and bottom nodes. Okay, and I'm going I'm initializing them to the null value. Okay, so this is pretty basic like we did in the previous tutorial. Now we create again an add function. So add note will give a value. So the last node, that the bottom node, will be pointing to the null always, and uh, the stack will flow from top to bottom. This is how we are going to design it. Okay. So we'll create a temp. Uh, pointer and let's uh, check the bottom node so let's check the top node rather the top node will be changing each time right so if m equals to null means empty stack right we'll create a new book instance and uh, Assign the value of page number, the data field, and the next node will be null. This is the first one. So, top node and bottom node both will be assigned to the temp node. Because you know, because you have to assign the temp uh, information, you have to store it somewhere so that the information is not lost when the function call is over right secondly so this is which is empty stack right let me put it here oops i'm sorry the second condition will be if the temp is equal to bottom node Right, 
that means we have only one node in the uh, stack only one node in the stack creating the second one okay so the procedure remains the same create a new book assign the, the page number of the data uh, next node now the next node of the new variable will be pointing to my bottom node right and my top node will become my temp simple okay last condition if temp is not equal to bottom node that means more than one nodes are present in the stack create a node again assign the page number to data assign the next node and the next node here will be pointing to my top node, my current top node, right? So I have to place the top node with this one. Again, you have to do this assignment before uh, you can uh, assign the whole temp variable in the new top node, otherwise, every, the current data will be lost. And here we will turn the top nodes. Simple. So we will create a function print stack. Okay. Book temp again. So we'll give it a give it the top node. If temp equals to null, that means C out. Sorry, the stack is currently empty. Please fill in some data. Right? Correct. Else is not null. While temp equals to null. So we are looping through. So temp, I'll send the C out. Current stack is uh, ten page number, okay, with the, day, with the space, and my temp will be pointing to my next node. What it does, it currently prints the the top page number, I mean the top node's page number, and then the next node becomes the temp, so it will uh, print the second second most uh, entry from the top. Okay, and that's it. Now we can create our main function here. All right, so we'll add nodes. Let's f15. 25, 35, and we'll print stack. Okay. So this time I'm not putting any breakpoints. I'll do that later on. Let's let, let's simply run this project and see if that works or not. So I'm going to build it first, like build solution. To check that there, there should not be any errors. It says illegal break. Oh, I'm sorry. Break is not required here. My bad. And here in the the bottom, you can put underscore get ch. Press F5. Oh, we have errors again. Unresolved externals. I guess I have to put a small m here. Ah, there we go.
there we go so it should be temp is not equal to null so current stack is 35 current stack is 25 current stack is 15 okay or can do we can move it from here okay and put it in the main function the current stack is Thirty-five, twenty-five, fifteen. Okay. Oh, and you keep on. You can put an arrow here inside the bracket, um, the inverted commas. So it will show you the pointing. So the current stack is thirty-five, twenty-five, fifteen. So and fifteen is pointing to null. So you can also print that here. like that okay so this is your your stack and uh, if you want to remove any elements you can create another function pop node right so popping means removing the topmost node so popping always happens with the topmost node and eventually it goes till the bottom right so here you can create a temp variable assign the top node so if temp equals to null again print stack and else if it's not null then what we'll do will assign the temp so temp is already already the, the top node so my top node will point to my top node's next address right and delete temp that's it and print stack okay perfect so let's Call this function now. Pop note and see what happens. All right. We have to put double slash n, otherwise it will not give us a new list. Or new stack I'm sorry so now um, I missed something I guess oh semicolon right so the current stack when we created it was 35 25 15 now and we removed the top node so it's 25 15 now like that so this is how it functions so you have to complete keep in, this in mind that in stack the removal will always be from the top however in case of queues the the first entry which comes in in the queue gets uh, popped out okay so in queue it's first in first out and uh, in stack it's last in first out i hope uh, you guys understood if you have any questions please feel free to write down in the comments section below I'll be more than happy to answer uh, your queries the best I could. Thank you and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.